By far the most popular career choice in the modern day is to become a creator. In today's video, I partnered with a team at Wondershare Femora to share with you their latest version of their video editing software, Femora X. Femora X is all about simplifying the complex nature of video editing. In just a few minutes, you will learn just how easy it is to turn an idea into a professional video with their software. The first thing we're going to want to do is open Femora X on our computer, and we will be greeted with a window to create a new project. What's important here is the right aspect ratio for our project. It's the dimensions of our video, and we need to select the right one for where we plan on sharing our videos. For most of us, we plan to share our videos on YouTube, so we will use the 16 by 9 widescreen ratio. Once selected, hit New Project. Now that Femora X is open, we are greeted to its editing interface. There are four areas I want to highlight here. The first one being the Media Library, which is where you will find all of your video files, photos, and music. It's also the section that gives you access to transitions, effects, and other assets for your project. Right below is our Timeline panel, where we place our media and effects to create the story we're trying to tell with our video. Right above the Timeline is the Toolbar, and it gives us quick access to the most useful editing tools which we will discuss later in the video. Last but not least, the preview window shows us the media we have in our timeline at any present moment. So before we do anything, I want to change our preferences. I'm going to click on Wondershare for more on the top, select preferences, and under the general user interface, I'm going to change it to dark mode. This just looks a lot better in my opinion and it's way easier on the eyes when you're editing. Now, the very first thing I'm going to want to do is import my footage. Filmora X gives us a few ways to do this. The one I'm going to use is simply dragging and dropping my files into the media library. Depending on your footage, Filmora X may ask if you wish to create proxy files for your media. You want to select yes, as this will give you the fastest editing experience possible. To give you context of my project today, I'm creating a review of a keyboard I own from Logitech. I discuss the pros, cons, and whether or not it's worth buying. So the first thing we're going to want to do is drag my first clip onto the timeline. And if you notice, there are things in frame that I don't want there. The microphone, the Coke can, to name a few. I want to resize this video to remove those items from the frame before I do anything else in this edit. I'm simply going to double click on the clip and it brings up the video menu. Under transform, I will drag the slider scale to the appropriate amount to remove those items. Done. As easy as that. Now, if you notice, the clip I dragged here is over 20 minutes long. I'll need to trim and cut down this footage to remove any time I messed up when I'm speaking or any information I don't think is worth being included in the final video. The first thing I want to do is trim from the beginning of my clip to the point where I want the video to start. All I have to do is hover my mouse over the edge of the clip until the trim tool appears, and then I click and drag the edge of my clip forwards to remove the unwanted portion. Now that that's done, I have the very beginning of my video completed. Now, as I go through the clip, there will also be sections I want want to remove in the middle of the video. Before we do this, we need to know a few shortcuts that will make our lives so much easier. To zoom in and out of the timeline, you'll want to press Command plus to zoom and Command minus to zoom out. This will be really helpful to find the exact points in your video where your audio starts and where you want to precisely trim your footage. To split a video into separate clips, you'll want to press Command B. Now that we have these memorized, let's zoom into our timeline with Command plus. I'm going to locate the next part of my clip I want to use, which is right here. I will press Command B to split that clip. Now, to remove all the unwanted footage before this point, I will go backwards and press Command B again to cut the footage from a different point. Once completed, I will delete what I've trimmed by selecting the footage and hitting the delete key. I'm going to rinse and repeat these steps until I have all the footage I plan on using for my video. A quick tip is that you can click and drag footage in any order you wish if you want to rearrange how things are ordered on your editing timeline. Now let's move on to enhancing the video color of our footage. I'm going to double click on the very first clip I want to make changes to and it'll bring up the settings menu. Under the color tab, we can very quickly make changes to our white balance and tone of the video with the sliders. This is all personal preference, so I'm just going to play with it and see what looks best to me. I personally will increase my saturation until my skin tones are more true to life, and I like to add slight increases in contrast. If I'm feeling ambitious and I want more tools to manipulate color, I'll press the advanced tab and then go to adjust. Under here, I'll have access to a histogram and much deeper access to tools to manipulate the color to my liking. Once I've color corrected this clip the way that I like, I may want to apply all these changes to the rest of my clip. So I'm going to press Command Option C on the clip to copy its effects. Then I'm going to use my mouse to highlight all the other clips I want to add color correction to and press Command Option V. This will paste all of the color changes to all of these clips as well. And now all of my clips should look the same. I also want to make changes to my audio. I like to have my audio not exceed six decibels as it gives the best listening experience for those watching with headphones. I'm going to press the audio mixer tool on the toolbar under the preview window. I'm going to reduce the level with the slider to minus six decibels. And I'm going to press OK 
okay to save these changes. Now, I want to add some motion tracking to a piece of footage I have of my keyboard. I'm going to double press the video clip I want to edit in the timeline, and under the video column, I want to select motion tracking. I'm going to highlight a very specific point of the keyboard I want to track as the camera moves. I press start tracking, and once completed, I press OK. Now, I want to add a callout title animation to follow that tracked path. I'll drag it on top of the footage I applied motion tracking to. I'm going to double press on that title callout, and now I will edit the text and hit OK to save changes. I'm going to double press again on the motion tracked footage. Under the video column, go to motion tracking and select the title callout to be the one that follows the motion tracked movement. And it's as easy as that. Now I have a motion tracked footage with a title callout and it looks pretty good. Another thing I want to do is add keyframing. Keyframing allows me to set start and end points to create an animation within my clip. On this clip, I'm saying something really important. I want my camera to zoom in slowly as I'm talking. So I'm going to double press on the clip I want to add keyframes to, go to the animation tab and press customize. I'm going to move the playhead to where I want the keyframe to start, which will be the beginning of my clip. Then I'm going to move my playhead to the end of the clip, and within the animation tab, I'm going to slide the scale to zoom in where I want this animation to stop. Then I press add and hit OK. Now I have an animation that is slowly zooming in as I'm talking to emphasize importance, thanks to the keyframing feature within Filmora. So with everything I've just discussed, I'm going to continue to make all of these similar adjustments and changes to the rest of my project. And once I'm completed, I am now ready to export and create this video. So all I have to do is go to the export tab at the top and press create video. It's going to pop up a window and I'm going to go under the format tab and I'm going to use the default recommended settings to export. Most people will most likely be told to use MP4 like myself. Before we continue, I want to press settings, which is located beside resolution. I want to make sure I have quality set to best to have my video export at the highest quality possible. Press OK and then I'm going to hit export. And that's it. Now I have a completed video I want to share on YouTube, but I also want to promote this video on my Instagram story about the first 15 seconds. Filmora X makes this very easy with her auto reframe feature. All I need to do is relaunch Filmora on my Mac and go to more tools on the new window and press auto reframe. It's going to prompt me to import something, so I'm going to import my completed video. Here I will select the aspect ratio 9 by 16 as I want to post this to an Instagram story. It will automatically reframe my footage for me. And as you can see, it does it rather quickly and it looks pretty good. I've only scratched the surface on what's possible with Filmora X based on what my needs are, but you might have much more creative, adventurous needs and Filmora X has a ton of features packed into it to make sure you can tell the story you want to tell. And I have not even told you the best part yet. Filmora X is incredibly cheap and affordable in comparison to a lot of other video editing softwares out there. Their most popular plan, the Perpetual plan, is only $69.99. It's a one-time fee and you get to buy Filmora X for life and you get all of the updates that come for that specific software. Download Filmora X today by clicking my link in the top of the description down below. That way you can get started in creating your own videos right away. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below hashtag Filmora X if you finished today's video and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. But I'll catch all of you guys in another video later this week. Peace.